Hello everyone, I am Ragdoll Riversong and this is Spirit Fair. Um, I'm not sure if I'm at the right location because I couldn't see where, where I'm at on the map because I'm actually at the place. <laughs> I'm just going to take a quick trip over to see if this place is cold. Oh, where is it? For... Furugwa? Furugwa? We're looking for a shrine. And I think this is the one. It said to visit it at night. But I don't know. I think we might need to go to the next one, actually. I do believe we're supposed to meet Stella's sister there. So at the shrine, she would just kind of be standing there, I'm pretty sure. So surely this is the wrong one. Okay, before it turns daytime on us, let's see if we can find it. Misty Woods. I don't know where it is. <laughs> It'll be the last place we check. There we go, that's where we're headed. Okay, so. Let me write down the coordinates. Are those all positive or any negative? Can't see it, yeah. So that we can find that a little easier in just a second because I'm going to close that and we're going to hop on a bus and go all the way over there. We may have to even wait until it rolls over to nighttime again because we might not make it still in time. <laughs> that is just the sweetest thing ever. Okay, so we're off to find out why we need to travel to that shrine. It is on my list of to-do things. Meet with Lily at the Furogawa <laughs> Shrine during nighttime. Elena wants me to do some more of her really fast-paced things, and I'm just not in the mood for that today. So we're going to go meet Lily. Uh, we may have some foundry fun with Stanley. And we may go on over to the Overbrook Hospital and see what Jackie wants from the vending machine. And I hope to be able to cook Beverly some Laska. I think is how you pronounce that. <laughs> hello, friend. And hello out there to all of my friends that are listening. And thank you for joining me. I really appreciate you. Y'all are great. If you're enjoying this kind of content, please don't forget to leave me a like. So that I know what y'all would like to see more of. Oh, I lost it already. Okay, it's right there. So we'll hit this bus stop. And if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. We do Spirit Fair Fridays, as you can see. <laughs> On Sunday... We do Dreamlight Valley live early in the morning around 9 o'clock. And on Tuesday, we do Animal Crossing. We have a brand new island that is our winter island we're working on right now. 
actually it's still kind of a little bit fall. The trees were red last we saw. <laughs> It'll be snowy soon enough. Probably just in time for Christmas. That'll be lovely. I hope all of you are having an amazing day. I hope to get a lot accomplished on Spirit Fair today. I don't know how much I will actually get accomplished, but you know, I hope for the best. Uh, I am headed to cook at my kitchen, but we better go quickly because it's still night. I rearranged my ship. There they are. <laughs> and now I don't know where anything is. Okay, let's hurry, 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 because I don't know how much longer it's going to be nighttime. And we are supposed to meet Lily, which is Stella's sister. Okay, where is the shrine? Oh no, it may be morning already. It's looking kind of bright. stars are still out. Maybe it'll count. <laughs> I'm not sure though. I think the sun's trying to come up. Come on, Stella. Let's go. Good. This photo album sure makes you look well traveled, sis. Listen up, because I'm going to read your embarrassing postcard. Let me find my famous Stella voice one second. Dear Mom and Dad and Lily, my trip has been amazing so far. I'm even making friends. What a boring thing to say. At this rate, the summer vacation will be gone in a flash. Last weekend, I went to Shir Shirakawa Go in the Toyama Prefecture. <laughs> Not great with big words, but you know. <laughs> I took a tour to visit these beautiful rice paddies. It was an impressive sight. Next to these incredible houses at the bottom of the mountains, it was especially beautiful at night with the glow of the moon. Oh, Stella. <laughs> He's an art curator from Germany. He's creating an art exhibit in Nag Nagasaki. I'm sorry, I'm horrible with these words. The tour was in Japanese, so he helped me with some of the nuances. He gave me his address and invited me to his show. I miss you all. And I can't wait for you to visit me in a few months. Stella. P.S. Stay out of my room, Lily. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> wow. You were so outgoing. I don't remember ever being like that. So full of life. I was always a bit dramatic, let's say. I wonder if you went to see Gustav's exhibition. That was his name, right? We never got to go on that trip to see you. Dad got sick around that time. He had trouble walking. His body was swelling and everything hurt him. I never understood why they kept it from you. They probably knew you'd come back as soon as they told you. To take care of him. I got to see Dad get sicker and sicker. I wasn't able to do anything to help. I still remember your face when you got home. For a second, it was like you didn't recognize him. Let's keep going. It's not like you've ever shield... shied away from death. You basically made it your whole world. I'm sure you've got some pictures of when you moved to Montreal. Let's take a look. Okay. 
Okay, so we have a new request from Lily. Meet with Lily at Oxbury Shrine during the night time. So, we'll be on our way to Oxbury soon. I think it'll be daytime before we make it there, though, so we can do a few other places on the way. We don't really need any pork or any of that stuff. Sorry, fella. larger ship and we'll find out how far away Oxbury is from here and we'll see if the hospital is closer because our friend Jackie that we've met recently wants us to stop by and see what's new in the vending machine. Oxbury was fairly close to where we are. Am I mistaken? I'm sorry, y'all. You would think I would remember by now where everything is, but no. Of course not. I think Oxbury might have been one of the first ones we opened. <laughs> All right. And there is a shrine. It is going to be daytime, of course, coming up soon. So let's hop on a bus. And we'll catch a bus over that direction in a second. Let me go see. Wait, actually, did I already cook it? What meals do I have available? No, we need to go cook something for Beverly. Been trying the past couple of videos, but you know, didn't have everything for it. I do believe it is just rice flour. Uh and the fire glow stuff she gave me. Did I use it all? Oh, that's terrible. Oh, that's awful. We're gonna have to grow some more. Unless she gives me some more. Oops. See, this, this is what happens. Oh, good morning, Stanley. Give me two seconds to talk to my friend here. And we're gonna just get him to drop us off all the way over this way, I believe. Where was it? Alt Harbor. Wasn't it very, very close? There it is. Okay, so there's a bus right beside it. Okay, 
Anyways, so I'm just writing down that we also are going to Oxbury for a visit with our sister. And that we need some fire glow. <laughs> All right, and we'll just hang out at Oxbury. There's a fella there that doesn't like me too much because I didn't realize we weren't supposed to cut down the trees there. My mistake. <laughs> but now every time I go there, I'm pretty sure this is the place where he follows me around like I'm going to do it again. Like just to make sure I don't. <laughs> I already feel bad enough. I didn't realize. Okay, I may have to go buy more seeds. I'm not sure which one it's grown in. So I'm going to check this one. Do you have a snack or something? I do. I Oh, you did this drawing for me. Awesome. Here, have some food. Scrambled eggs? Breakfast. <laughs> exactly the same as before. Awesome. I'm sorry, Stanley. It's been a minute and I forgot what I fed you last time. Okay, so... Hi. Are you hungry? You don't want to talk to me? You want some food? Plain dish is satisfying. Wonderful. I did something right. <laughs> um, little Beverly, are you at home? I didn't ring the bell to wake everyone. I just kind of let it go. Oh, she's not at home. She's out and about somewhere. She's so tiny, she's hard to spot sometimes. And our ship has gotten considerably bigger, so it makes it difficult to keep up with everyone. Well, I don't know. Do they visit one in one another's homes? <laughs> Maybe in the movie room where she was before? I'm not sure. Oh, there she is. Goodness, little one, you're all the way up here. How are you today? I could go for a snack. Well, absolutely. What have I got that's fiery? Because she likes spicy food exotic. You don't have anything else? <laughs> Variety in the kitchen. Okay. Uh, how about a chai latte? Oh no, I can't touch anything that has a stimulant. <laughs> I think, if you think I'm a bit intense already, these things make me look demented. It's not that I don't like them. I just don't like how they make me feel. I'm already at the right amount of Bev. <laughs> I love her. She's so great. Uh, how about this? Thank you. Wonderful. I love her nummy noises. <laughs> I'm going to just step in here and change my outfit up a little bit. That this one, the classic outfit, is great for fall because it's got some orange and green in there. For those of you who don't know, you can also change your cat. We can make her pink. <laughs> we can make her purple, black, or white. Actually, I like myself in purple better, I think. <laughs> I know. I'm terrible. Purple or pink? That one looks very spring. 
I think that's why I had the... Oh, that one. It's very purple. Student? No, not not student. I, won't, I don't want to be student. What are you wearing? You need to take pride in the clothes you wear. The way you dress will always be the world's first impression of you. The world will judge you... Judge your book by its ugly periwinkle cover. If you wear that, well, I'm afraid you are saying you have poor taste. You have access to a wardrobe. There's no need to wear that particular monstrosity. Let this be a lesson to you. A lesson you should have already learned. I'm going to walk away now. I don't think that I can take you seriously looking like that. Well, that's awful. I thought we looked okay. Because it's a beach outfit, maybe? Periwinkle outfit. What's her problem? <laughs> hmm. How about a cream blouse? We'll go with the teal trousers. I like the purplish colored shoes. And we'll keep the hat to match. Alrighty. Let's see if we can get away from her without her hollering at us again. <laughs> We're always doing something wrong. Oh well. Oh, we don't have fire glow. I forgot. Hmm. Well, that's a shame. Our flower is ready. Those are eggs that are ready. Yep. All right. What do we have extra that we can give our cute little chickens? and go and see if there is a place where we can possibly purchase seeds. And it looks like it's becoming afternoon time in the game, so yay! way you okay I'm gonna go this way <laughs> that's the dice boys if y'all haven't been here to meet them they have a rap group <laughs> do you want to buy some tomato juice it's freshly squeezed I'm sure you're too busy to drink this refreshing beverage later well thank you <laughs> possibly later There is one all the way at the top. Awesome. We still haven't made it all the way up there yet. But I think with the help of our handy dandy uh, zip lines, we can do it. Plus, we now have an ability to jump a little farther and stuff. Daisy. Anything we can jump on? Yes, there is. All the way over there. Wonderful. 
I'm horrible at this. <laughs> oh, I had it too. That's terrible. Oh, I pressed the wrong button, that's why. Okay, if we get to jumping whoo, high enough, <laughs> we almost fell off. Get to jumping high enough on this one, it'll send us up there, but we have to hit it just right. There we go. And I'm once again horrible at this, so it may take us a couple of tries. Oh, one more time. Oh. And if you miss once, you got to do it all again, so. Come on, Stella. Work with me, girl. Got it. <laughs> Yay. Okay, is there anything else this high up that we might need to land on? Uh, another building that we might need to go upward on. No, nothing up there. Oh, there's somebody in there that we might need to talk to though. I wonder if the door is unlocked. And the sun is starting to set. Wonderful, just in time. <clears throat> That's your first Montreal apartment, isn't it? When you moved out of the house to that big city, my big sister striking out on her own. Yeah, that place was such a dump. Sorry, sis. It was. You could decorate it all you wanted. It would always smell whatever your neighbors were cooking. And you could hear them yelling at each other. Your rent was probably so cheap. Plus, you were all alone. No roommates. Well, not quite alone. With Daffodil. Speaking of which, I'm still mad at you for taking the family cat. I don't remember us talking that much during that time. You were busy with work. I was still in high school, not paying much attention. I don't think we had much in common. Except death, maybe. For me, after dad, I had to do something about it. I was trying to shut it out, but it kept coming anyways. I don't know how you can deal with it constantly, working at the hospital with people at the end of their lives, around you all the time, helping those people who are suffering in front of your eyes. There was Summer. She did not go quick. That cancer stayed inside her and took its time. It even gave her some hope. But it came back harsher. Mom was devastated. It's probably for the best that Rose wasn't around to see it. Rose was so kind-spirited and fragile. Losing her dear Summer would have broken her heart. I remember going to Summer's house with Mom. With all those plants and that heat. It was like a sauna. She said something about the body being like all living things, especially plants. I just remembered being mad and sweating a lot. Then there were the friends you made along the way. That Giovanni and his wife, Astrid. To hear you talk about them, they were basically your adoptive grandparents. 
and the stories that would come out of their mouths. The cheating and the lies, the heartbreak, all those heart or headaches. Can you imagine what Giovanni put Astrid through? But she was right at his side at the end. Even if she had moved on, even if she had found someone else, he was her one and only Geo. Forever. They both knew that and they only had each other in the end. That's how I want to go out, sis. Holding the hand of the ones I adore. I think I need a refill. <clears throat> Maybe stretch my legs a bit. I'll be back in a minute. Don't you go anywhere. <laughs> to Tundra? Gray Mist Peaks. <laughs> okay, so... She keeps changing the location on us, and we have to meet her at all these different shrines. We're kind of chasing Lily today. <laughs> Let me just make a few notes. <laughs> is pretty close to here, I do believe, so we possibly can make it there today as well. Her sister is unlocking a lot of uh, Stella's backstory for us, so I'm kind of interested and intrigued to find out all about Stella. Digging deeper into her character today. <laughs> Okay, so Grey Mist Falls. That's, or is it Grey Mist Peaks? Yeah, there's a shrine there. Wait, wait, wait. How far away are we, Stella? And is there a bus stop? There is, but I think it'll take us approximately the same amount of time to go to his bus stop and then well maybe not the music is just very very loud <laughs> it's a bit much today I think that's because Stella's sister has got me over here trying to make me cry again giving me a bit of a headache <laughs> look how beautiful it is at night so lovely up here. About the time we make it here, it's always time to go see him. <laughs> okay, so I'm on my way. Alrighty, pal. We are going to Gray Mist. So, take us on over to the other bus stop. sister is slightly jealous of us and the adventures we had. I'm sorry. If I would have known, you could have came on the boat too, I'm sure. Like, Stella's very awesome and generous like that. <laughs> so beautiful. 
just stunning. I love the art in this game. I don't remember where the shrine was. I think it's to the left. But it is the one we had to yet again jump for. And yeah, terrible at this. Oh my. Oh. Forgot about the air draft. Yay! I'm a little better at those. Oh, wait. Is it on this? No, I don't think it is. I think I have to jump on this. That's how I did it the first time is I don't need to hit my hat when I'm coming down and I keep hitting it anyway. Come on Stella, work with me girl. You can't even barely tap it, it messes it up so it's like precision. <laughs> together. One more, girl. Let's go. Uh, maybe another. <laughs> uh, come on, Stella. You can do it. If we'd stop hitting the hat, that would help us tremendously. And we'd get there a lot faster. Oh, I missed it by that much. <laughs> Come on, we just want to talk to our sister. Good grief. Starts to make your thumb hurt after a second. One more, Stella. Come on, you can do it. Oh. Oh, that's not it. Ah, come on, come on, come on. Nope. this. Nope. Oh, needs one more. Ugh. and over, I believe, at the next gust of wind. Goodness. I don't remember where to land. Okay. I think it'll take us all the way up there if we get it just right. 
just have to keep floating a little and then wait and float some more. <laughs> okay, that one is a very tricky one. Hey, I'm back. I'm sad to report that there were no cute doctors wandering the halls. Look at you, you look so frail. But even on your hospital bed, you're still gorgeous. Well, this whiskey bottle is half empty. Let's just go ahead and say you drank the rest. Do you remember that phone call you gave me last year? You had taken a sabbatical from work. I had to call the center to learn about it. Yeah, she took a few months off. She got some bad news. What a weird way to learn that your sister isn't doing well. So you call me two weeks or something after. It's maybe two in the morning here. Your voice was shaking. I could hear you breathing heavily. You start talking about the trees around you and the air. No, hi, Lily. No, I'm not doing well. Nothing, just talking about the trees and the air. You said it was cold. That it felt like death even over here. I didn't even know where here was. It went silent and then you said you'd be home in a few days. I didn't know what to make of it. Were you sleepwalking? Was the whole thing just a dream? I was scared. You came back and told mom and me of your diagnosis. And now we're here together. Mom is awake. And I'm awake. And I'm holding your hand. If you can hear me... I love you so much, sis. You're not alone in the woods anymore. We're here, Stella. You'll never be alone. You've never been alone. Okay. So, I don't know what to make of this. What's going to happen to Stella and her boat and stuff if we go through all these quests with Lily and it's her final quest, it says. Where's my boat? <laughs> Bring Stella and Daffodil to the Everdoor. If I do that, doesn't that end our game? <laughs> Why would I want to do that? Hmm. I think we better finish our tasks first. And since when can I navigate at night? Stuff's been kind of wonky since Stella went and met with that owl but apparently Stella's in the hospital and not doing so well so it's a little bit confusing here y'all <sighs> goodness does she even sleep at night anymore is that an option but will it make the boat stop I think it does, yeah. But that's okay. We'll go on over to the next day. Let's wake up the passengers on our boat and have a chit chat with some of them because it may be the last time they see Stella. Who's going to pilot the ship? Is it going to be Daffodil?
I kind of want to know, but I kind of don't want to know enough to have to start over if the answer is nobody. <laughs> okay, so... We went to that shrine. Why is it not checked off like the other ones do? You know? Kind of weird. I don't know where we want to go now. I don't want to take Stella to the Everdoor, I don't think. do this y'all like <laughs> it says there is only one ending to this game but does that mean you don't get to finish the quests or like I think it says I'm only 80% along in this game so I guess let's just find out what happens. Maybe Daffodil will pilot the boat afterwards. Or one of the people on the ship will take over until we're done with all the questies. Not really sure. But I guess we're going to find out together. <laughs> it's kind of how we've been doing this whole thing. Good morning, Beverly. Let's get out here. Get out of here, please. What? I'm gonna hug you, Beverly. We both needed that. Well, I hope so. Are you hungry? Do you need something before I go? I'm not hungry right now. Okay. Oh boy. From this point onwards, there is no turning back. Do you want to continue? Uh... I think it might end our game. I'm gonna say no. I'm not certain. I think we should probably look it up first. So, right now, Stella's going to run from death. <laughs> I know that sounds terrible, but... Until we look it up, I think that's probably our best bet. Jackie at the Overbrook Hospital and see if we can get more of a painted picture of what's going on. I think the hospital was this way, actually. I don't feel like I've completed near enough stuff and I don't know. I just feel like there's more that Stella and I can get done. <laughs> if I could ever find where I'm trying to go. so much of our map and traveled so many places makes it a little tricky to find places when you get ready for them <laughs> Overbrook that's where we're headed okay so we're quite a ways away from it let's hop on a bus Because we've just barely met Jackie, and I do believe she's supposed to come on our ship, or I'm sorry, he is supposed to come on our ship as well. 
so I don't know. I feel like it might be a little too soon to be trying to go there in case stuff. I'm going to check. I'm going to peek. Okay, so it's going to pretty much end the game for us if I do that. So, I'm not going to. <laughs> Let's complete all of our all of the tasks that we have to do before we take Stella to the Everdoor. And I hope that whenever we go to take someone else and drop them off, it doesn't mistakenly take Stella. Because that would really stink. Okay, so we're headed all the way over here. Where did I just see that little hospital? Oh, come on. <laughs> we're doing great with this today. to be kidding. I'm awful at this, y'all. I know it was out this way. Is it this one? No. I think that music gets me all, gets my anxiety all flared up and I don't know if I'm coming or going. certain where we need to be going. But we're trying to find our way back to our friend at that hospital. I knew I should have wrote down the location. <laughs> See, there's still rare chests there that we haven't found. And there as well. I think we'll travel on over to that one. If we hit a few places along the way trying to find that hospital, then great. Ignore the train. <laughs> Let's get a little away from our seal friend for a second. <laughs> and does it have the coordinate? on it does not on the Overbrook Hospital so Overbrook I thought it was up high but that could be my mistake
here. Where did we sell two? I'm going to get us away from that music because I can't take much of that. <laughs> and while we're sailing, we're going to find Overbrook. There it is. 213 and 57. I don't even have that route down as one of our things. Oh, I do. It's vending machine, though. 213, 57. Uh, there's not really anything here we needed. Just to kind of get away from our, our friend with this loud music. He's wonderful. He gets us where we need to go a lot faster than we ever could on our own. But some days my head just can't take all that noise. <laughs> Alright. So we're just going to set sail to the Overbrook Hospital. And we're going to visit with our friend Jackie over there gonna see if we can get anything from the vending machine for him. Possibly hang out for a little bit. I don't remember if you guys have met Jackie. Jackie's a little intimidating. He's a hyena and he really has a giant smile full of uh, sharp teeth. So he is quite interesting to look at. And there's our sister Lily again. restocked the vending machine, sold out of the Choco, crispy burlap men. What? Okay. So weird. Are you, Jackie? All the way up. Can we get there from here? Maybe. Come on, Stella, you got this. Over here. Hey, Smellers. Just thought of that. Did you get my letter? It was pretty good, wasn't it? Hey, listen up, will ya? I didn't really fart up that envelope. Or did I? Anyway, thanks for the visit. Oh, hey, look at that. The ladder is back. Great. I told you it leads to the room of one of the most difficult patients here. Scratch that. The most difficult patient. She's got some issues, like in the head. Like difficult issues. She's really a pain. Yeah, okay, okay. I know. It's my job. Don't look at me like that. I'll take good care of her. I promise. It's just, well, it was a nice breather not having to deal with her. The hospital was running so much smoother. Anyway, back to the grind, I guess. If I want to ever have a chance to get on top of this. Hey, Stella. Um, I know you're busy and all with your boat and your fancy duties, saving the world or whatever you always do, but think you could help out an old pal? Listen, here's what we're going to do. I have an extra pager here. It was my colleague's. Well, before he just up and quit mid-shift and left me all alone to manage this all by myself. Anyway, take it. That way, if I ever feel overwhelmed, I can just text you and you can come to the rescue. How about it? Sure. Fantastic. Oh, wow. I feel like a weight has been lifted off my chest. I almost forgot. What about that snack? Anything good? 
What? There was just one thing left? What a load of bull. Better, better be good. What was it? A crispy burlap men protein bar. Blech. No, thank you. It's full of unnatural ingredients and my body's a temple. <laughs> Question of self-respect. Well, really gotta go now. See you soon. Okay, so we got a pager. Can we get into this room with this difficult patient? This place is falling apart. We need to do something. Agreed. Uh, can I get up there? Maybe. <laughs> Ooh, maybe not. have to go through the door, but they're in the way. I want to go in there, y'all. There's stuff in there. not going to let us in the tower. That's craziness. We have a right to go in. I don't think we're supposed to yet. I don't think we were supposed to do that whole quest line with Lily yet. But, you know. level we were on. If we could get up to the next one, that would be fantastic. I know we can if we just give it a try. Maybe. Ugh. Maybe. looking like maybe not. I really want up there though. <laughs> well, darn. Can we get something cool from over here? We already did. Okay, so I guess we're just waiting on our friend to page us next time. And I'll plot out some fun for us to do because we're definitely not going to take Stella to the door quite yet. <laughs> we'll figure out what's up with this weirdo vending machine and why it keeps lighting up the whole area. We're going to figure out who the patient in the tower is and things like that on our next one. I do hope you'll join me next time. It's been a lot of fun, but a little bit sad. <laughs> I hope you all have an amazing day and please enjoy all the things that life has to offer until next time, my friends, bye. See you then. <laughs>